When it comes to the 90 Day Fiancé franchise, there are a number of popular ways that couples have met. Since the franchise features international couples who obtain K-1 fiancé visas to marry in the United States, one popular way of connecting with a future spouse is through online dating. This has allowed many foreign partners to get to know each other long distance before tying the knot. There is so much to learn about the 90-day fiancé couples who saw the most success through their online dating endeavors, including the status of their relationships today. While online dating might receive some flack in the real world, as critics doubt the possibility of connecting with one soulmate online, a surprising number of successful franchise couples have connected through dating websites. This has become a more accepted form of meeting one's future spouse in the franchise, as vacation hookups are sometimes called out by skeptical fans. Viewers have historically questioned the ethics of meeting a younger partner on vacation and bringing them back to the United States to live together. However, some of these 90-day fiancé vacation hookups have led to successful marriages. While plenty of vacation and travel romances have led to criticism, often due to age differences being present, many partners who have connected on dating websites have seen compatibility. Frequently, the partners get to know each other online before bringing their romances into the real world. The most successful online dating stories from 90 Day Fiancé inspire fans, who enjoy learning about what the couples are up to now. Louis and Aya Gatone. Louis and Aya Gatone are a quiet and successful season one couple who met via an online dating service. The American man and Filipina woman connected online and decided they would live together in the United States, where Louis had two young sons. The duo has stayed married for the past seven years and welcomed two boys into the world. Unlike many other franchise couples, Louis and Aya were not after fame when they aired their international love story on TLC. The couple has chosen to live a low-key life and focus on marriage and family. Yara Zaya and Jovi Dufrin Yara Zaya and Jovi Dufrin turned their mobile dating app hookup into a marriage. The duo initially connected on a dating app while American Jovi was traveling worldwide for work and came across Ukrainian beauty Yara. The two enjoyed world travels that spun into an engagement when Yara found out she was pregnant. Though Yara sadly miscarried, the couple ended up going through with their plans for Yara to join Jovi in Louisiana. Yara and Jovi overcame their issues and were married before Yara gave birth to their first child, Mila. Yara and Jovi currently star on the spin-off show 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After, and they have both gained large social media followings in a short time. Matt Ryan and Ala Fedorik Matt Ryan and Ala Fedorik are definitely one of the best-received pairs in the entire franchise. The season 4 couple memorably met on an online dating service before they lost communication and married other people. After Matt and Ala divorced their respective spouses, the duo ended up reconnecting and turning their online romance into a marriage. Ala and her son Max moved to the United States and became permanent citizens this year, to the delight of franchise fans. Ala and Matt also had their first child together, a beautiful baby girl named Emmeline. Many franchise fans consider the couple to be one of the most beloved and least problematic pairs to appear on 90 Day Fiancé. 
Brett Otto and Dia de Arce. Brett Otto and Dia de Arce are another low key and happy couple. The season 2 couple connected through an international dating service. The American and Filipina pair saw their romance bring Daya to the United States, where the couple obtained their own apartment and wed. Brett and Daya are still happily married and have one child together, a young girl named Isabel. Like Louis and Aya, Brett and Daya keep a low profile and have demonstrated that they were more interested in having a happy family and healthy marriage than they were in seeking fame in the franchise. Narkia Latham and Oluluwo Shodipe. Narkia Latham and Oluluwo Shodipe are a season 4 couple who met on a dating website for plus sized women. They were faced with issues when Oluluo's extensive lies were revealed. Though they left the franchise on rocky ground, Narkia and Oluluo ended up marrying and living together in the United States. They are currently still married and welcomed their first child last year. Narkia also earned enormous praise for her dramatic weight loss and dedication to living a healthy life. Josh and Ika Batterson. Josh and Ika Batterson also found love thanks to online dating. Like other couples on the list, the American man connected with the Filipina woman due to online dating. The couple was one of the least dramatic on the list and ended up discussing Josh reversing his vasectomy for most of their plotline. Josh and Ika married in Las Vegas and are still together. Though Ika still doesn't have any children although she wanted kids, the couple appears very happy together. They come across as very much in love. Blake Abillard and Jasmine Lottinen. Blake Abillard and Jasmine Lottinen are another 90-day fiancé duo who found a lasting relationship due to dating websites. Though the couple received some negative feedback, many now consider them to be an underrated pair. The season 7 couple met online and Jasmine came from Finland to the United States to be with Blake. Viewers doubted if Jasmine was really in love with Blake. They wondered if she wanted to reunite with her sister in the US. However, Jasmine proved she was authentic by staying married to Blake.